Hey, how are you guys doing? It's out Italian over here, and yes, we're back here in this game called Life is Strange. I've been playing this for like a long time. Let's ch let's have a look. The last time we were playing this is on like you know, yeah, 2016. Holy shit! Like October 2016. Yeah, I have been like you know, I have been like totally. Um, neglecting this series, you know, so it's all right guys. We can we can still do this. Yeah, we just complete this Arc this chapter or whatever we call it. So let's go. I I, I even forgotten where we left off the last time So I'm just gonna go on from you know where where this continues on all right <laughs> Okay, this starts off real strange because, you know, the game starts off with a story where two girls are sleeping together. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, man. Guys, this is not a port, okay? Okay, not, not some weird pawn. This is like a story-based game, right? Like every action has some kind of consequences to whatever you do. And this girl over here, you know, like the one that who is just waking up, she is, um, she's basically, you know, a person who can, who can, you know, rewind time or something. And then now the game asks me to take selfie. Sure, let's take selfie. Uh, Always remember this moment. Remember what fucking moment? I mean, like, you know, the moment you Photo sleep. Photo bomb. Oh. Photo hog. This is yeah, it's bullshit, man. <laughs> I thought she was asleep. All right, so um, you know, like it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Oh yeah, you were like swimming. Like another one. They were swimming in in the school. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Then. Every great artist just, gets rejected before they get accepted. Just do it so you anyway. you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Ah, shit, soon. there's music. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Fuck. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Could you just get up so I can switch off the fucking radio? Because I, I don't want, you know... Just, just get up, get up, get up, get up. So that we can switch off the fucking radio. Because, you know... YouTube is a fucking con, you know, like, it either okay, de demonetize me, it would de demonetize me, or, or even, like... I love this song. Ah, shit, I don't get to switch it off? Really? And, uh, just now there was, like, some kind of... What, what, what was it? Sorry. Um, this is... Traveling. What was it again? Like, how do I check her journal? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, the SMS. Warren! Oh, the guy who <laughs> loves Max. I think we all know that by now, right? I mean, like, this guy is totally on her. And this game has some kind of sequel to, to this. It's cute. I haven't played that sequel yet, but we'll see. So glad I didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. Yeah, but the drive in is actually popular, so I'm buying a ticket now. Okay, sure. Uh, what should I do now? Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Okay, try it. Have a look. <sighs> At least we haven't been identified. And then if yet. I. What? Police and fire department responded to break in. Oh, yeah, you guys were stealing something. Or you're breaking into that. 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 Pitmaster's office and anything. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at up all night donuts. A nude man with a sword? What the fuck? 
Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. So following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. I think we can go and visit her then. That's good. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Well, if you come out, you, you get things even worse. You, you the fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Ooh. Ooh. There's a whole lot of... Lot of oh my. Yeah, you know, look at that. Uh, yeah, it is important for you to bring for condoms. Busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. It's important for you to like, you know, prepare some condoms. Prepare some condoms whenever, you know, so that you know, yeah. Because boys don't don't. Boys always want to come in into your your body, you know, Gary. So so just learn to bring a condom to force them to. To, you know, Frank use might think it. twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Well, yeah. Why not? Let's just say yes. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. Yeah, you're not you kids anymore. Now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Not sure what Did she have a boyfriend? So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. What happened before we ever showed up? You crush on Rachel? Was Rachel that popular? What? So now you're in. You you had a like boy toy face, and now you you have a girl toy face. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer, and she wanted to be a model. So, can, can, can I switch off the fucking radio because... I love this song. No, we can't. Fuck me. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. People kept things, like, all the time. I keep stupid things all the time, too. Put some clothes on first, hillbilly. Clothes, clothes. Where's your fucking clothes, though? This one's? Okay. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. That would teach you to... I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop it. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. All right. Okay. Do we kiss her or not? Well, you know what? If I kiss Chloe, that means that you know Warren wouldn't stand a chance at all, right? But who knows? Who knows? We can even make Max, you know, into both girls and boys, right? So why not? Why not? I mean, like, let's let's do some kind of let's do the stupid things. Normally, people would say don't kiss her, right? So let's just kiss her, not nonetheless. Damn. Whoa. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. Um, every you boy's into. Dork. 
every boy is into girls and a girl's action, you know? We like oh, to. Man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. You know what? Boys love to watch girls and girls on girls action, you know? You know, that, that's why we love 3P in the first place. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I'm sorry that I'm a bit late. I may, I may have sounded a bit weird. I mean, weirdly loopy. I mean, you know, it's 12 a.m. right now. I'm recording at 12 a.m. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. We Let's can not bake. rewind and find out, okay? We can bake? That means you are gonna smoke some crack? Don't do drugs, okay? I mean... Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Kate. It's like... What's wrong? Max, thanks. Thank you for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. Oh, yeah, we saved you from killing yourself. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll be visit you. Okay, we'll visit her later. Okay, when we were kids here. That's nice. Oh, that's... There is her mom. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. But you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Exactly. Pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Oh, you know what? Always go with eggs and bacon because... Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. You I can know, handle eggs and bacon. You know, because... Um, the eggs for, always come first, as Joyce used to say. Because if you want to have breakfast, you know, the first thing in the morning, you may have to... I love like, that they still have the same refrigerator. You may have to, like, have a breakfast with eggs I first. should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. Vegan is like, unless you have the proper amount, you know, if you are someone who is a dietist, you know how much you should eat, you know, the thing is, you can, you can get more energy, more from a mixed diet than, you know, pure vegan, you know, because pure vegan is like, you, you need to really be, you need to be able to calculate how much cholesterol, everything, or even like how much, a lot of shit that you have to get. If I'm mistaken, they say you have to eat a lot more as a vegan and you actually be fat rather than, you know, just just half an egg. <laughs> Thanks. But who I know, well, what, what do I know about this? Everything that's happened, it's great to see Whatever you I know is just again. just I just heard from she hasn't had people a good friend who are, since like, you or Rachel. We're studying diet oh, those in a university, so, so it's much like, you know, Such who am I to say? Girl. If they say so, then it's so bad. I'm it's just so, hoping so she's fine. living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I have a feeling that she's in trouble. You know? I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So, I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. 
Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. At a table with us. Breakfast with eggs, it's always the best. That's always, you know, like, that's why I love it. First thing in the morning, have a breakfast with egg. Egg and, and pancake, even if you want. But egg is best. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Oh, look at that. That, that totally looks so yummy, Bring man. those eggs and bake into my belly. So are we gonna find Rachel, or like, are we gonna eventually find out? I have a feeling that actually Max Clawfield is actually Rachel, because time traveling and shit, you know. Yeah, don't mess with time because time is a is a bitch. Time can be like, hey, finish your finish your breakfast, dude. I mean, like, that is so not nice, man. Not nice. Not nice at all. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again... Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. This is awesome. awkward. I totally remember that day. This is going I'm real glad. awkward. William took <laughs> this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and so much Joyce. story, man. I'm sorry. So much drama in between. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. Really? This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Shouldn't you be keeping that picture? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does! Alright, so what we're supposed to do here? I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Let's check if he's around first. I mean, like, you know, you don't want a jump scare. A jump scare is bad, man. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Clues? Oh, I had to find a password, huh? Uh, uh, padlock? Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. All right, 7171, that might seems like it. Nothing in it. Nothing? Don't you, don't you should like, you know, have a close look at it? 717, let's, let's try it out. Nope. Error, fuck. Not that one. Fuck me. Okay, let's search more. More clues better, huh? Nothing to see here. There's a whole lot to say, you just you're just not looking. <laughs> oh hi. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Stepdad. Arcadia Bay stepdad. 
Happy Sweet 18, Chloe. I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, Stepdad. Oh. He is actually, you know... He does actually try to be a loving father, you know? Gun rack. <laughs> One gun missing, man. One gun missing. Let's have a look at a padlock. Um... Probably the password on this padlock, we all know. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Ah, shit. Alright, how about searching here? Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. ID number? 5212. Or even the, you know, the date when he joined. I don't know. I could try the license number for the password. License number 63567. But those feels like very substantial. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home a veteran's guide. Oh, well, yeah. He's a veteran soldier, so he's like, you know, he has some kind of PTSD going Cute. on. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Uh, knife? What the fuck? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my few angel. Keep your wings up. Alright. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Search. There's something to search here. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in a diner. Nice to know that gentleman still exists. Love to talk to you, talk, talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce. Oh, yeah, this is the first time they met, I bet. That might be a useful password. Two Wells Diner. 11th... Oh, that's November. 27th of November, 2018. That actually be more, it will feel more like a proper password. Let's use this one. This feels more like, you know, I think this, this is, this feels more Joyce like Mark, it might be this useful one. password. So this one feels more like, you know, something that he will be attached to rather than the others. Because, you know, he seems like the stern father figure. So what happened is like, you know, like he's stern, but he is still loving. So let's try family. Uh, 11, 27, 2018, because that's the first day they met. And that would kickstart a series of events that, you know, they get married. So let's go with that. Oh, yes. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. <sighs> Why does David care? Rachel avoids her dormitory, follows Rachel to the lighthouse. Has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Oh, okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vertex Club party. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students' drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson of the class. Don't trust grown men. We go these. Kate has kept to herself since Vertex Club party, not even in church. She probably got drugged and and I don't know, probably raped even. You don't know, right? This is so wrong. Ugh, creepy bastard. What? Max online. Wow, you know her online alias. Like Mad Max, Max Factor Nor or Angel. Oh, that's a that's a really good name. I should have like used this name as my YouTube name, like Nor Leon or Nor Angel. This sounds cool. Pretty cool, man. I mean, like yeah, <laughs> but that would be f weird because people call me Angel and I I I'm no Angel, you know. But nonetheless, there's still nothing, I guess. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. 
how about not telling her then? How about that? Oh, Taylor. Hey Max, just wanna thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you care about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks Taylor, I know you care too. If you're going to the party, I'd love to style you up, if you want. If I do go, I would love to get a Taylor makeover. Talk soon. I still don't understand what XOXO means. Till today, I don't know. Oh, David's home. Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Oh. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. PC bullshit. Do you know for I, sure it was Blackwell students? Who I else would that do PC it? Culture is I'm bullshit gonna too. bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. I think Don't he's. Don't start, Chloe. I Not now. I think yeah, he's trying I'm just to help. always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I actually feel that, you know, he installed a surveillance camera trying to help. Because, you see, when he was... Look at the reports. Odell is creepy, but, you know, Frank is someone selling drugs. And then Kate is suspected to have dealt with drugs. So he's trying to investigate to see if anyone has been probably, you know, ruining anyone's life with drugs. I'm thinking that's the case, or he's on a secret mission by the police department, I don't know. But for now, we just, right now we're accusing him. I feel that we are too emotional on, on, on this end, because I'm thinking that, you know, while we look at the reports, he didn't go and, you know, spy for, he's not a peeping Tom. If you look at the reports, all those, it's like, it feels like it's genuinely security reports. So, although he goes too far, but I don't think he's trying to hurt anyone. So let's give Listen, him a break. We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work, and sit down, and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Well, I think I did it right thing. Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. No, actually, I feel that we did the right thing. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? I think we will just stick with the decision because I have a feeling that we are doing rational. Very rational. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Oh, now What's we got- gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Oh, so now we're gonna have... Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. So uh, we're supposed to break into somebody else's home right now because 
An RV is technically a transport. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. It's a transport and also a hope. Oh, that's a dog. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. You're not Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. You're not an Alien Now style. to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Easy way to snag his keys? Okay. Uh, let's get in there, because I think just now we saw during the cutscenes, you know, he's in there. Well, Dad is in here. Maxis, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl. As, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing ever the amount we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof. Well, there's videos of it. Nice. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. Wow. That's an understatement. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Alright. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Warren. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off. Oh wow, you are... You're the man, Warren. You're the man. Okay, there's the keys, right? I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Um... Plate? Do I get to do about... Do anything with the plate? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. We can do a lot of shit. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Can we just talk him through it? I mean, we can talk about it. Or oh, Nathan is there. Let's let's talk to the guy. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Oh, we don't get to talk to him because he hates us. Okay. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Is there anything I can use around here? Kate should have jumped. Wow. You fucking asshole. You should have jumped, asswipe. Alright, um... Let's talk to him. Let's go with the civil way. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay, let's, let's, okay, let's try Nathan, because this guy might have something. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch! You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal! Mm, do I have to say... do I have to do anything? Next, Rachel and Frank. How about that? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. 
Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Key information on that, okay. How about cop? There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. So, how about Kate Marsh? Let's I talk guess about Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Okay, let's talk about Rachel Nathan Frank. said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that so, Chloe stay away, right? So he's actually an animal lover. This guy's safe animals. That's interesting. Um, that's it? Okay. Okay, let's what talk to him. What the fuck now? Save dogs? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. So we can grab the keys, like right now. My work here is done here, Frank. Can we just take it? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. And let's rewind so that, you know, There we go. I think we're done, right? There we go. He brought. Now back to Chloe. The good thing about this is like, at least, you know, while you're rewinding the back in time, whatever that's in your hands or with you right now, it's actually already with you. So it's like, you're like an anomaly of time and space. It's interesting. Now you have the keys. That's cute. You know what, I'm gonna try something out. Let's spill. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go again. I mean, like, there's still so many things you can do. Let's try spilling the can. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. Yeah, I just want to see. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of response on this. That's cute. All right, let's go. Let's go back. I mean, like, yeah, we play enough. Only five dollars. Five dollars is actually how expensive over here. Are you shitting me? Oh man. Let's let's help the girl. Alyssa, 
Leah, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. There we go. Much better. You know, one way to not ruin someone else's life, huh? Uh, but still. Careful, drops. Max. Cujo ahead. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Uh, where should I throw them? On your mark, get set, throw! Throw towards the road, towards the parking lot. Let's go to the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. Yeah, the get in there. The is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Yeah, stop searching. I know. Just daydreaming. Cupboard? Let's see what's in the cupboard. You scope the area while Zip. I... Zip. Not a... Nothing. For info. Um... Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Mm, probably in... Oh. How can somebody live like this? Well, apparently he does live like this. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Prescription pills? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Uh, book? Is Frank going to deal online now? Newbie guide to a web business. Dealing online is a good idea, but your drugs... He's, he's a drug... Yeah. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Photos? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Um, there's still more place to open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Open this. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Alright, so probably we can get the blowtorch. No. Not a blowtorch. Alright, knife, yes. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Although it's really dangerous for us to do it, you know. You might cut, you might cut yourself, be careful. Curses! Nothing here. Right, at least now we still have the knife. My blade will open any portal. There we go. There's something here. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frank B, hope you read this first in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompey though. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel I like I'm never going to get out of Kitty Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have, I have here. And a smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. So they did go out? 
I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. So she probably just Rachel left. really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me. And I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way. And the next time will be the loss. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us. So maybe we need to break our routine. So... That was the last time? Okay. Probably that's the last time, you know, he met her. Or she he's seen her or anything. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! Oh boy. Oh boy, his keys. Holy shit. Oh wow, can a girl actually drive properly for once? Because that's some dangerous driving right there. Alright, I think I have enough drama for now. Um, look at the time. It's 12.35. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Nobody's at fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? David? You blame David? I said my dad. My real father, who got himself killed for nothing. Not the human placeholder for Joyce. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. You know... This girl... I just don't understand why you call her your friend. I mean, she's like totally an asshat, like an asshat, fucking asshat, a fucking spoiled bread, I will say. What? What now? Oh dear. Oh my, oh my god. god. What is what happening? What the here? fuck? What the fuck? Alright, let me guess. You're gonna travel back in time. 
just by looking at pictures? Is that what's going on here? Because that sounds awfully, awfully familiar. That sounds really awfully familiar, man. Um, LR? Oh yeah, my bum sticks. Uh, LR. There we go. Whoa. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Wow. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Wow. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we'll far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Bread. How? I would love to have I this ability to, break the to go back in time like this. Do you this remember cool. how many eggs? Mom I love ten. William like, like he was in my own family. So how many eggs? I Don't won't let him die today. Chef. I right. won't. Like you're the real cook here. Joyce loves William so much. Let's I see. am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. What? Oh, there's the phone. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. I know I've seen those pictures before. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Ah, shit. So, that's the phone call that got him killed. Um, we have to turn... We have to rewind back all the way before it... happens. Depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? So, where's Don't the fucking keys? Question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. Fireplace. Uh, I keys, am. When your mom is away. Keys, keys. I'll let her know that. Photos. No, 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 no. Where's the fucking keys? Where's the keys of that car? Or have them pluck. Yes, unpluck it. Boom. Disconnected. Much better. There we go. That will never happen. Ah, shit. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe. No! God damn it, is this hey, some I kind of... Is this kind of... Some kind of fixed point in, in time? That I cannot stop it from happening? Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. All right, do we just do we just let it happen, or does she have the do we have to like you know just let it happen first? Doesn't make sense. If if we just let it happen, then what's the point of us coming back here? What's the point at all? Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. So I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Where's Shit, where are my keys? Where's the That's keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? 
Keys, please. Keys. I'll just see where he gets it. He eventually finds it. Aha! You can't. There we go. There we go. He's still at the breakfast, right? So, the cap. Score! Um. Hello? Hey, honey. I just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to Obvious, get Obvious, but it will have to do. Love you. All right, Excuse just gonna... me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where don't are my find, keys? Don't find That's a key. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Don't keys. find the keys, please. Or else you would die, man. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Oh, crap. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? Ah, uh, shit. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No. No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, we still have the keys. I have to destroy that shit. I, I have to destroy. Work at the two whales. What? Can I just put it into oh, the I fireplace? I mean, of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Is there a place? Is there a way for me to destroy this fucking key? Like that that signal you thing. You remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's, That's a cool snow dough. No, 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 I don't question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. Throw the keys out. Hide the keys. Hide the keys. Look into flower pot. Hide the keys here. No, 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 no couch. Hide the keys in here. Oh, that's too early. Too early. Know that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Throw it out, throw it out, throw it out. Throw, throw the keys out. Probably that's the way to do it. He won't hear it, I suppose. Hello? Yeah, he doesn't hear I it. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Nice. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. So we have saved the guy. So he never died, right? So this is not a fixed point in time. We totally fix this, I guess. So is this the ending? Is this the ending of those fucking things? I don't know. We'll see. So these never happen, right? Not 
It never happened, never. Okay, I, I get it, I get it, I've changed... Oh, you have... Okay, you have your own truck, okay. That's nice. You don't have to buy your own truck then. But eventually you still got your own truck. Cool. Well, we're back here again. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know. Sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? So, do you want to wow. go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. She is in Vortex Why? Club now? He hooked up with Stella? Oh no! Whoa. This is totally fucked up! What else have I changed? Chloe. So what happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? So now she's in Vortex Club? Oh wow, this guy's the bus driver? David is the bus driver now? Okay. So what happened? I mean, she's now in the Vortex Club? And she's one of the bad guys now? I don't know. This is so weird. I mean like, but butterfly effect or shit like that, right? Butterfly effect dinging. But then here's the thing. You know, I thought when you rewind time, you know, and then after you rewind it, the time will go on as how it is. So it's like, so if you got a longitudinal jump, you will still jump back, you know, because you don't have the ability to stay, stay in the time at the time that you've gone back. You haven't got the t ability to stay flux, I guess. Maybe that's the reason why she, she finally got jumped back anyway. I guess. What? What's wrong? Whoa. What's going on outside there? What the fuck? So now we have monsters out there? Oh no, this... Oh shit. Whales. What happened to the whales? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? What happened to the whales? I'm more concerned about the whales than, than what happened to your friend, man. Okay, I get it, you know, now we have to, like, see her finally being the good girl she is. Is this the ending? I guess this is the ending, right? I suppose this is the ending, but there's still the f next episode for us to play. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! What happened? What? What? She's a... Good girl now? What the fuck? What the fuck? What happened to her? I mean like what the fuck happened to her? Suddenly now she's a Professor X? Gee, this there's a lot of info dumb. Right at us. A lot of info dumb, man. Oh wow. That's it? Chaos Theory. Achievement unlocked. 
So, okay. But we still have episode 4, don't we? I get it. I mean, like, let's just skip. Stat requests I failed because, yeah, because I couldn't connect to the internet at the moment. Which is why I haven't recorded, I'm not recording, um, you know, what you guys are or anything. Because I, I don't have the internet with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But then, I guess that's the idea. Okay, I left the money. I kissed Chloe. I sided with David. Kept Frank's dog from harm. Okay. Oh, if I, if, oh yes, if I throw it to the street. He would have gotten hurt. Okay, and then Chloe still has David's gun. Alright, sure. What next? Lisa is dead. What? Lisa is alive. Lisa is dead. What? Lisa is dead. You're on the Vortex Club's list. You help Elisa. Didn't erase the cop's message. What? You didn't warn the homeless woman? Oh yeah, this is before whatever the shit is like, you know. Alright, alright. What? Oh yeah, because she, she's now a part of the Vortex member, so... So she can enter that uh, party, I guess. I guess. Alright, I get it. So I guess that's all about it, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a hell of a ride. You know, playing this game is weird in a sense that, you know... Um, it's really weird in a sense that you are watching a story more than playing. You know, but it's cool. Cinematic. Thing, you know that kind of thing but nonetheless it's cool it's a cool game I'll, I'll recommend you guys to check it out all right and I haven't really like you know gone to like you know walk through and all that there's no like because the point of this game is to experience the story with the characters so if you go if you have a walkthrough then it doesn't work you know it doesn't you doesn't feel as connected to you as much so i would suggest you guys to play this game without reading anything you know without reading anything or anything when i was like this game was like really really a hit back then 2015 or 2014 i can't remember and then my friends being like you know you should totally check this game out so that's why i was playing this game you know while i'm doing youtube because i was thinking that well if we're gonna play this game let's play it together you know so yeah i'm glad i played this game but still we can still play more uh, there's still episode 4. Oh, there's still episode 4 and episode 5. Wow, there's still more to go. So I guess that's about it for now though. I'm not gonna go for episode 4 at the moment. Just, just, just gonna stop here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope this will be a good filler episode in between, um, you know, in, a, in between Watch Girls and, and some of the cutesy dinging going on. You know, like like Honkai Tree, or even Girls Run Line. You know, so it's like so that it doesn't have to be always Washi Girls and Girls Run Line and Honkai. You know, it it because it goes on so much to the point that you know people will be like, you know, Leon. I mean, I know that you you want to be a YouTuber, but but I didn't know that you want to be a Washi Girls uh, YouTuber. <laughs> The whole channel becomes I'm all about watching girls then. So, you know, I have to diversify. Okay, just diversify. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, I'll see what I can come up with. I'll see what I can cook up with, alright? I'll, I'll check my game folders, see if I can cook up anything. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Bye bye.